Hey everyone, my name is Jude Allen. I'm a travel and landscape photographer based out of San Francisco, California. Today we're going to be going over Adobe Premiere Rush and the new speed ramping feature. So we're going to launch Adobe Premiere Rush here. I've created time-lapse movies um, via Lightroom and Photoshop. So you're going to select create a new project as soon as it opens. Then you're going to find your media you'd like to use and try to choose it in the order you would like to see it in the movie. Click on create. It's going to prepare the media and it's going to load and we're going to look at it and make sure that it's in portrait mode for Instagram in this case. Um, go ahead and scrub through the movie and kind of preview what you're working with here. Now this one is a little longer than I want, so I'm gonna grab the edge, pull it back, and kind of trim the video. And it's gonna show me both videos in the project at once there. This uh, next one with the just the clouds only is also a bit too long, so I'm gonna be trimming this down. I'm gonna grab the edge and just click on it and pull it over. And then let go when I'm when I found a good spot and going to kind of watch it again and just to see if there's any other fine tune adjustments that I want to do to it as far as the duration of the video. And then I'm going to go over to click on the speed icon on the top right. And I'm actually going to slow down the first clip to about 75%. You can also select it and type it in there if you don't want to drag the slider around. And not going to do too much else with that right now. And then I'm going to bring it to the beginning and kind of preview it again. Seems to look pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do is check the second clip and also adjust the speed on this as well. Um, so the slider on the left with the little blue um, icon is basically where it starts and stops. And you can see it's at 100%, so I'm actually gonna speed it up in between where those uh, selections are. And the ramp will allow you to make it an abrupt change or a gradual change out to its regular speed. That's what that is there. That's also known as a speed ramp. So we're gonna preview that real quick. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna watch it again. And I think I might need a little more space in the beginning of this. So I'm just gonna click and drag accordingly. And looks like I'm gonna have to change my start point on this one. It's a little too close to the very beginning of the clip. So I'm just gonna grab that, slide it over and preview that again. Looks pretty good. Okay, so that looks good to me. Now I'm gonna go over to the color icon and give it a mild edit since it's a video. Uh, I don't wanna do too much to it, but I'm gonna mess with the exposure settings, some shadows, um, basic stuff here, make it a little warmer in the temps as well. Uh, bring out a little more color in the clouds there in the sky as it was sunset. So we kind of want to show that off a little bit in this video. And just go through the basic stuff and set it to your preferences. Going to give it a minor film look, a little faded look, not too much. I don't want to lose too much depth in this. There's also a vignette adjustment, but we're not going to mess with that. If you double click on the sliders, they'll reset to zero as well. We're also going to do the same thing with the second video here. So again, just go through kind of adjusting the sliders to what looks good to you. And this one's going to be even a little bit more basic. sharpen it a little bit and then we're going to kind of preview it again
Now this does look a little light in the beginning to me, so I think I'm gonna go back and adjust that in a second here, but I just wanna preview it all the way through. It looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna also shorten the duration of the first one. Watch it again, looks pretty cool. I wanna get that light in the bottom left creeping up that tree. And, but I also don't f feel like I don't need to show the whole thing to get the point across for that scene. That looks pretty good to me. That looks pretty good to me. So now what I'm gonna do is check the speed of the second video here again, and I'm actually gonna make it a little bit faster. So I think 300% looks good. I want it to be kind of a faster overall video so I don't lose attention on it on social media. And looks pretty good. I'm gonna make a couple small adjustments. Okay. And here we're going to add a little dip to black. I kind of want that at the end, not so much in between the two videos. You can actually click and move that around to control the duration of these uh, built-in transitions. Just kind of taking a preview at it, but I don't think I like it that much in the middle there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and then hit the delete key. I'm on a Mac, same with PC, and then I'm going to grab the uh, left point of the fade to black on the right side of the second clip and kind of stretch that out a little bit so it's a little more gradual. That looks pretty good. Uh, let me turn this uh, exposure down on this a little bit. Seems to not quite match the second clip there. So we're going to go click on color again. Go to edit and turn that back down just a tad. And that looks pretty good. Scrub through it real quick. Yeah, happy with that. Seems to be the transition is a little abrupt just going clip to clip. So we're gonna do a basic cross dissolve and see how that looks. I do like that more. Okay, and then also threw it in the beginning, which is fine. Now we're going to go to share. And I usually want to share this out local. It's just what I prefer. And I want to rename this file. And we call it fog. And check all the settings. Uh, default's pretty good. You got a lot of options here. You can pick whatever works best for you. I'm just going to save it as with default settings. Keep the file a little smaller as well. And then click export when you're ready. And it's gonna render the video and save it to the destination that you chose. Next thing we're gonna do is open up the video and preview it before we send it to whatever media we desire. You can catch me on Instagram at Jude underscore Allen. Thanks for watching.